Now we can do a question on the GRE that only 24% of the people got right when they took it on an official test. But we should be able to get it from the answer grid because we know that they wrote the right answer first and then they disguised it with predictable mistakes. Which two answers look like each other? A and B look like each other. They're both fractions with two on the bottom. And C and D look like each other root 2 root r squared and root 3 r squared, they look pretty close. But look at answer E. It doesn't look like any other answer very much. We could call it a stranger. And then we remember that they wrote the right answer first and then they disguised it with predictable mistakes so we can ask the stranger to point us to the right answer. It has a 2, a root 3, and an r squared. And there's answer B. It has an r squared, a root 3, and a 2. And yes, answer B is the right answer. Now let's go back and do the problem the old-fashioned way. In the figure above, O and P are the centers of the two circles. If each circle has a radius of r, what is the area of the shaded region? The area of the shaded region, do you know the formula for the area of a diamond? Let's look at that shaded region a lot closer. We can look at the points. Two of the points are at O and P. Those are the centers of the circle. And the other two points are where the two circles intersect. That means that each side of the diamond is a radius. Then we can draw another radius between O and P, and we've got two triangles with the same side on each side. We can call that equilateral. That means that there are 60 degrees in each of the angles of that equilateral triangle. Now we're ready to figure out the area of a triangle. The formula is area equals base times height divided by 2. Now we can look at the top triangle and figure out that area. If we drop down a height from the top, we can split that top angle from 60 degrees into two 30 degree angles. Then we recognize a favorite triangle. We have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle and we remember the ratios. There's a 1 opposite the 30 degrees. There's a root 3 opposite the 60 degrees, and there's a 2 opposite the 90 degrees on the hypotenuse. But in this diamond, the hypotenuse isn't 2, it's actually r. So the bottom of the triangle isn't a 1, it's half of r, it's r over 2. And our height isn't just root 3, but it's root 3 times r over 2. Now we have the height for our triangle formula. What about the base? If we go back to the original big triangle that has r on all three sides, our base is r. Now our formula tells us that we have r squared times root 3 over 2 divided by 2. But that's only the top triangle. There's actually two of these triangles, so we have to multiply the whole formula by 2. When we do that, the big 2 and the bottom 2 cancel out, and we're left with the area of r squared root 3 over 2. Does that look familiar? It's answer B that we had found a long time ago because the stranger pointed us to the right answer. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985, nobody makes things easier.